Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of GoPro 10 tips and tricks video and I'll talk about how you can record with your GoPro 10 all day long with just one battery. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel I'm always trying new and different ideas. If that is something you're interested in, please visit for more of if you're only interested in GoPro videos there will be links in the description box below. So I like using the new GoPro Hero 10 which I have it uh, right here but uh, one of the drawbacks of the new GoPro 10 is that the battery doesn't last long so I already have two batteries so one I have here and we have one I have inside the camera but the problem is you know if you are recording for like you know let's say one hour it's okay but if you're traveling or if you're out then and you'd like to record all day long then this is not going to last too long and according to my estimate let's say if you're traveling all day you'd record at least you know to have five uh, GoPro batteries which is not you know uh, realistic because I don't want to carry that many uh, batteries and I don't want to like you know keep changing battery every like you know one hour couple of hours so I was thinking how I can solve this problem and it looks like I came up with a perfect solution although you have to just buy a few more accessories but still it works and I have just tested you know uh, in the past couple of days uh, recording with my GoPro using only one battery and looks like it seems to be working fine and in this video I'm going to you know show you exactly how you can do that now I would just like to mention that I do not believe in affiliated links so there's not going to be any affiliated links for any of these but I'm going to give you the name so if you'd like to purchase on your own just you know do a search and uh, pick up the best value or wherever it you get uh, the reason I do not uh, provide any affiliated links for any of uh, of my videos or reviews due to the fact that I don't believe that you know you can give honest and unbiased opinion once you have affiliated link because you'd like your um, subscribers or viewers to click on the link and purchase so definitely you're going to tell them that you know these are the best one uh, so they can purchase and make money off them so I don't believe in that uh, for that reason I don't have any affiliated links anywhere so what you're going to be requiring is mainly these two items and the first is phone tripod mount with cold shoe and uh, this is going to be actually uh, this item uh, right here and you can see that you know you can put in your phone here and you have a quarter inch uh, hole or thread here and then you have a cold shoe mount uh, right here and then the next thing you're going to be requiring is that cold shoe bracket extension bar Sometimes they're called cold shoe mount bracket extension bar or just, you know, cold shoe extension bar. So you can find them anywhere. Uh, they're not too expensive. You should be able to get one somewhere around like, you know, $15. And it looks like kind of like this. Uh, the purpose of this is that, you know, you're going to be putting your GoPro on one side and you're going to be putting your uh, GoPro on the, your, uh, you know, what I'm going to show you on the other side. And then you're going to be required like, you know, your usual other accessories, for example, and just like, you know, tripod or mini tripod to hold your GoPro. So what I'm going to show you is that you're going to be needing a fast charge power adapter, which is not too bulky. So it's going to be something like this. And I had another adapter or, you know, power bank, uh, in the past which is the regular one so what happens I attempted to solve the problem with this one but it just you know uh, doesn't work uh, due to the fact that it cannot charge the battery inside the GoPro fast enough uh, for you to you know uh, last all day long because this is not a fast charge this is a slow charge so you're going to be needing a fast charge and just make sure that it's not too like you know big or bulky if it is then you're not going to be able to hold it inside the uh, telephone or uh, your mobile phone tripod mount it has to be inside this mount and I'm just going to like you know quickly assemble everything and then I'm going to show you like you know how it's going to look like once you're all set up so just give me a few seconds hi guys I just finished setting up the power bank attaching to the GoPro and you can see that you know this is all set up and uh, just I forgot to mention one thing that if your uh, mount shoe bar or if your extension uh, mount bar uh, doesn't support 
holding both of these together then you may need to buy another piece of equipment which is the small rig hot shoe quarter inch adapter which is right here or alternatively you can just buy something like this and and you know a hot shoe adapter and then that's, that that would allow you to put everything together now you can see that it's not charging anymore because the GoPro has actually fully charged but it's just like you know a little bit uh, blinking uh, because the camera is actually turned on uh, you cannot see because I turned off my front uh, screen but uh, this perfectly works and it just keeps charging while you are you know shooting for all day long so again uh, if you need another piece or if you're you know uh, extension bar or if your uh, cold shoe bracket extension bar does not support to hold both of them together in this way then you may need to buy a small rig uh, hot shoe quarter inch adapter or it could be any um, hot shoe adapter which kind of looks like these and these are very uh, cheap so for example this one is or this one is just they're just like an around ten dollars so you don't need to uh, spend a lot of money so let me just turn this off here okay so I turn it off so that's the way you can set up you know your GoPro and um, shoot for all day long and that one thing that you know you have to keep your battery open or battery door open otherwise it's not going to be connected to the power bank or if you're using a cage uh, for example you know cage like this then it's the same idea uh, you can just put everything you know inside the cage and it has the capability to do the same thing uh, this way which i already tested so just to wrap up everything uh, you have to buy a power bank which is a fast charge uh, do not buy a power bank which you know doesn't charge fast enough and then you need to buy a uh, phone tripod mount with cold shoe which is right here and these are usually like you know 10 15 dollars and uh, just make sure that you know your power bank is small enough so it holds inside the uh, phone tripod mount and then you're going to be needing a uh, cold shoe bracket extension bar which is right here and uh, these bars actually they're different based on manufacturers for some manufacturers you may not need to even buy the additional uh, quarter inch hot shoe adapter but if you cannot you know figure out that you know or if you're not able to hold both of them together then you just may need to buy another piece of equipment which is you know hot shoe adapter with uh, a quarter inch mount and with a cold shoe so basically that's the setup it kind of looks a little bit weird but you know i have a vlog on the street it doesn't feel that bad uh, and it just works fine and uh, you know there's no problem no nothing so that way you don't have to change battery or keep changing battery whenever you're out and shooting longer hours so that's all for today thank you for watching there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you